Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using two tone products. In this video, I am partnering up with Laneige. As most of you know, they are well known for their two tone beauty products. Now, they recently sent me a whole bunch of goodies, so I thought it'd be a fun idea to put together a makeup look using their two tone makeup range. So, let's get to it. Let's start off with their latest products. They recently launched these two tone color correcting and contour bars. There's one primer, three color correctors, and two contour bars. I'm gonna be using the two tone primer first. This primer helps to smooth out the skin, blurring any pores and fine lines. One side helps to maintain moisture in the skin, whilst the other adds a light powder finish to the surface. I'm going to just apply this stick primer all over gonna glide it across my skin. To be honest, I've never used a stick primer, so this is really interesting. Wow, you can instantly see like the difference when I swipe it over my skin. You see how it's sort of like taken out that texture and this part's still quite shiny and oily. Cool. Oh. In terms of how my skin feels, it feels really smooth, it feels more velvety, but it doesn't feel like I have much product on. It feels really lightweight. Next, I'm gonna use the two-tone color correcting bars. There's three color correcting shades available. There's pink coral. The coral shade helps to cancel out any dark circles, and the pink shade helps to neutralize any skin discolorations and helps brighten up the skin. Next, we have the purple blue corrector. The purple helps to neutralize dull yellow undertones whilst the blue reflects light to make the skin tone appear transparent. And lastly, we have the mint lemon color corrector. The lemon corrects purple and blue undertones, whilst the mint reduces redness on areas with rosacea and blemishes. Now, I know when it comes to color correcting, it can be a little bit confusing and daunting at first, but the easiest way to remember is bringing up a color wheel. You can literally Google a picture of a color wheel and say, for example, you have redness, in your skin. To neutralize it, you just go on the opposite end of the color wheel, and here you can see green. So if you apply a green color corrector, it's gonna neutralize your redness. Same goes for the other colors. I've just turned down my beauty lighting so you can see the color of my skin a little bit better. As you can see, I have like a little bit of redness around my nostrils. Um, I have a little pimple here, which I can use the green to color correct. You can see I have a bit of dark circles under my eyes. So I'm gonna use the pink coral shade to help neutralize those areas. With the correcting bar, I want the coral shade to be at the top because I want that to sort of cover up the dark circles and the pink underneath is just gonna help brighten up that area. So I'm just going to run it under my eye, like so. And I'm just gonna use the Laneige blending brush to just buff that out. Now when you color correct, you don't need a heavy layer of corrector. You just want a thin layer so that neutralizes the undertone underneath. Then on top, you can go in with concealer. And now that's helped to color correct underneath my eyes. So when I apply concealer on top, it's not gonna look ashy or gray. With the mint lemon color corrector, I'm gonna use the mint shade around my nostrils wherever there's redness. So I'm just gonna run that bar like that and a little bit on this guy. I'm just going to blend that in really quickly. And that's helped to reduce a bit of redness around those areas. Now I can go in and apply my cushion foundation on top. This is the BB Cushion Pore Control. This product has a two-step oil control system which keeps the skin moisturized on the inside and matte on the outside. So I'm just gonna quickly apply this all over. This BB cushion is really good for those of you who have like an oily or combination skin type. It really helps to cover up any pores and it's long lasting on the skin. Best of all, there's 10 shades available. 
Moving on to contouring, I'm going to be using the Laneige Two Tone Contour Bars. This shade is Almond. Just like the correcting bars, the contour bars have two shades as well. This makes it easy for you to blend out your contour. Now, when I apply my contour, I'm going to hold my stick like this so that the darker shade is on the bottom. I'm just going to contour my cheekbones first. I just map that out. And on the other side, I'm going to do a little bit on my jawline. And then for my forehead, I'm going to turn it upside down and just draw a line around my hairline. For my nose, I'm going to use the side of the stick and just kind of mix those two shades together. I'm going to quickly blend that out with my fingers. I like to just blend it into my brows. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to blend it out with this blending brush. Once it's blended, it looks really natural. I just look a little bit more defined and sculpted now. Up next, we have the Eyebrow Cushion Cara. This is a two-tone eyebrow cushion that fills in your eyebrows and adds color to your eyebrow hairs. It also comes with a double-ended applicator. You could use one side to fill in your eyebrows and the other to apply the color onto your eyebrow hairs. I'm using the two-tone gray and I'm going to apply the lighter color first. And I'm going to go in with this color to underline my brows first to create that shape. Then I'm going to join it at the top and just fill in the body of my brows using small strokes and slowly blend it up to the start. I'm then going to go into the darker shade and I'm going to use that to further define my tail. So I'm just going to just apply it underneath and make my ends a little bit darker. Then using the other side of the applicator, I'm gonna go into the lighter shade and just brush it along my eyebrow hairs, just to lighten them up a little bit. And that's my brows done. I really like the two-tone colors because you can just mix it in to create your own. And wherever you don't have hairs, you can go in with the darker shade to sort of create a bit more depth around those areas. For eyes, I'm gonna be using a two-tone eyeshadow bar. The two shades make it easy to apply and blend in your eyeshadows. It has a creamy texture and contains aloe vera powder to help moisturize your skin. This is my first time using this, so I'm not too sure how this is gonna turn out, but wish me luck. I'm keeping the coral shade at the bottom, so I'm just gonna swipe it over my eyes. Oh, it kinda of turned out like eyeliner. I might bring it up a little bit higher. I might just go in with my fingers to blend it up a little bit higher. I think once it's blended, it looks a lot better than the initial swipe. I'm going to apply some onto my lower lash line, just the coral shade, and connect it up with the top. And just use my fingers to pat that and blend it out a little bit. I think with this eyeshadow bar, you need a little bit of practice just on holding it and sort of positioning the bar to get what you want. But once it's blended out, it looks quite soft. So I've just gone in with a bit of liner and mascara to finish off my eyes. I did notice that the cream eyeshadow bar does crease a little bit. So if you want your eyeshadow to stay a lot longer, I would suggest applying a bit of translucent powder on top to set it. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of powder on top. For my cheeks, I'm gonna be using the same eyeshadow bar, but this time I'm gonna use it as cheek and highlight color. So I'm just going to run it across here and use my fingers to blend it in. I think I prefer it much better as a cheek and highlight color because it looks really nice on the skin. The highlight, you can just add it onto your cheekbones and just softly blend it out to give you that nice glowy sheen. There you go, what a handy product. You can double it up as a cheek color. To finish off the look, I'm gonna be using the two-tone matte lip bars. These are their latest lip bars. On one side, you have the highly pigmented gel color, and on the other is the lip primer, which helps to smooth out your lips and blur out any fine lines. The shade I'm using is Red Velvet. Now, I want the darker shade to be in the center of my lips, so I'm gonna hold my lip bar like this and apply it to my top lip.
and for my lower lip I'm going to turn it the other way around. So this is the final look, it's nice and elegant, it's classy and timeless and you can wear it for pretty much all occasions, day or night. This was my first time playing around with a lot of the Two Tone products and I must say I really like the end result. However, because their products are so unique and there's not a lot of Two Tone products out there with other brands, you may have to spend a little bit of time playing around with the products and just practicing and learning about it, especially with the correcting and contour sticks. I feel that you need to sort of practice and how you can hold it but after once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy to use. The two products I liked the most was the Cushion Cara. This is really unique I haven't seen anything like this on the market. Also I really like their new matte lip bars. Unlike other matte lipsticks this one doesn't dry out your lips and it has a smooth velvety finish to it so I love that. Anyways, that's it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye!